Have you heard? No longer just an imagined vision or a plan on paper. Russia has shaken the world as the Superjet 100, powered by the PD-8 engine, successfully completed its first test flight. This milestone marks a turning point for Russian aviation, proving its ability to master jet engine technology and readiness to compete with Western technology. But does this mean the downfall of Western engines? And why has PD-8 become a symbol? Let's find out. On March 17th, 2025, the skies over Komsomolsk on Amur witnessed a significant milestone in Russian aviation, the first test flight of the Superjet prototype equipped with the domestically produced PD-8 engine. This was not just an ordinary test flight, but a strategic step in reducing reliance on Western technology, forming a crucial part of Russia's import substitution program. As the SJ-100, the new designation for the Sukhoi Superjet 100, took off, it shattered the silence of the runway, carrying the ambition of revitalizing Russia's civil aviation industry. The aircraft was piloted by seasoned professionals, test pilot Dmitry Menovaya, Gory Grevtsev, and engineer Maxim Griokalka. Throughout the flight, the aircraft reached a speed of 500 kilometers per hour and an altitude of 3,000 meters. Upon landing safely, the flight commander affirmed that the mission had been successfully completed. The PD-8 engine operated smoothly, ensuring stability while allowing engineers to collect crucial aerodynamic performance data under various operating conditions. The PD-8 is a symbol of technological independence. With eight tons of thrust, it is designed to power both the Superjet and the B-200 amphibious aircraft. Developed using advanced Russian technology and building on the expertise of the PD-14 series, the PD-8 represents extensive collaboration among various corporations under Rostec's Import Substitution Initiative overseen by the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC. According to United Engine Corporation CEO Alexander Grakiov, this engine is expected to receive official certification by this fall, paving the way for mass production. The SJ-100 project goes beyond just engine replacement. To obtain mass production certification, the aircraft must undergo approximately 200 test flights to evaluate its performance, safety, and operational efficiency. Additionally, more than 40 foreign manufactured components must be entirely replaced with domestically produced parts. According to Rostec CEO Sergei Chemizov, the PD-8 is the heart of the Superjet, playing a vital role in Russia's efforts to revive its aviation industry. Notably, beyond the Superjet, this country's aviation sector has high hopes for the MC-21, a potential competitor to the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. In June, the first MC-21 is expected to take flight with the domestically developed PD-14 engine, marking another major step in the country's self-reliance strategy. Russia has committed over $2.7 billion to its domestic aviation industry, aiming to bring both the SJ-100 and MC-21 into mass production. If everything proceeds as planned, 2026 could witness the emergence of a new generation of commercial aircraft that are entirely made in Russia. Behind every test flight lies a crucial advancement. Once the Superjet and MC-21 enter full-scale production, the landscape of the aviation industry, both domestically and internationally, may be forever transformed. But why can these Russian engines change the landscape of the aviation industry? You might be curious about its significance. Russia's aviation history has seen difficult times, but never have the challenges been as intense as they are now. With the West shutting the door on supplying crucial components, this country faced the risk of its entire civil aviation sector coming to a standstill. In this critical moment, the PD-8 appeared as a bold statement. Russia will not wait, will not depend, it will take off on its own. This engine is not just a propulsion system, it is a symbol of technological self-reliance. In the past, the Superjet 100 relied on the French Powerjet SAM 146 engine. Now, the PD-8 stands as a resounding declaration that Russia is fully capable of standing on its own. This echoes the Soviet era, when Western technology restrictions pushed the USSR to develop legendary aircraft like the 2154. However, this time, it is not merely catching up, it is striving for direct competition with Western giants. Previously, with 40% of its components sourced from abroad, the Superjet 100 was essentially held hostage by Western supply chains. When sanctions were imposed, maintenance and component replacement became a major dilemma. But with the fully localized PD-8 and SJ-100, this nation has finally found the solution. Moreover, 
Not only does the engine ensure Russia's aviation independence, but it also opens up a promising export market. Countries like Iran, Venezuela, and even some Southeast Asian nations could become future customers, embracing an aircraft free from Western control. In this game, this country is not just saving itself, it is building an aviation ecosystem beyond the reach of Western corporations. Finally, the engine is more than just an industrial product, it is a symbol of an unyielding Russia. Every turn of its fan blades, every roar of its engine, does not merely lift the SJ-100 into the skies, but propels domestic aviation into a new era, an era of self-sufficiency, an era free from dependence, an era of taking control of its destiny. If the SJ-100 succeeds with the PD-8, it will not just be an aircraft, it will become a national pride, proof that the country can not only confront challenges, but also transform adversity into motivation, sanctions into opportunities, and the dream of soaring high into reality. So, does the PD-8 truly deserve to be Russia's pride? But wait a minute, we are so glad you always support us. If you are also an aviation enthusiast, let's stay on this journey together for a long time. Don't forget to show your support by hitting like, share, and subscribe so we can create a meaningful adventure together. Huge thanks. Firstly, it is a high-bypass turbofan engine integrating advanced technologies to enhance efficiency and reliability. It features a fan with a diameter of 1,228 millimeters and 24 wide blades, aerodynamically optimized to reduce drag and improve performance. Its compression system consists of a three-stage, low-pressure compressor that pre-compresses the airflow before directing it into a seven-stage high-pressure compressor, where the compression ratio reaches up to 28.1, significantly boosting fuel combustion efficiency. The combustion chamber employs advanced heat-resistant materials derived from PD-14 technology, allowing it to withstand extreme temperatures while ensuring stable performance. Secondly, regarding the turbine system, the PD-8 includes a single-stage high-pressure turbine that endures the main thermal load and transmits energy to the high-pressure compressor, along with a three-stage low-pressure turbine that converts the remaining energy into mechanical power for the fan. The engine casing is made from composite materials, reducing weight while incorporating new soundproofing components, significantly lowering operational noise. Notably, the thrust reverser system utilizes an electric drive instead of the conventional hydraulic system, enhancing reliability and overall performance. Third, the engine is controlled by a full authority digital engine control system, or FIDEC for short, developed by UK Star specifically for the PD-8, enabling intelligent regulation across various flight modes. In terms of power, it delivers 7,477 kilogram force of thrust under standard conditions and up to 8,056 kilogram force in emergency mode, making it one of the most powerful engines in its category. Compared to the SAM 146, the PD-8 offers superior fuel efficiency, greater reliability, and a longer lifespan. Additionally, the engine is designed to be lighter, more fuel efficient, and capable of future upgrades, opening up promising opportunities for the aviation industry. And this is the moment we believe why Russia's independent engine development is so commendable. Because this nation not only can do it, but can do it even better. Compared to the SAM 146, their engine features significant improvements. In terms of thrust, both engines deliver around 8 tons, but the PD-8 incorporates advanced technology from the PD-14, optimizing efficiency. Additionally, the domestic use of advanced composite materials reduces weight and enhances durability. Regarding maintenance and reliability, the SAM 146 has faced issues with the lifespan of certain components, particularly under harsh operational conditions. The Russian engine is expected to address these weaknesses by optimizing its design for domestic operational needs. However, the FIDEC control system on the SAM 146 was developed by Safran, whereas the PD-8 relies entirely on domestic technology. While self-sufficiency in technology provides advantages, it also presents challenges in achieving comparable performance. Although the PD-8 holds much promise, proving its superiority over the SAM 146 will require hundreds of test flights and a lengthy evaluation process. It is a scaled-down version of the PD-14 but this does not mean its development will be easy. Key challenges include optimizing airflow and fuel efficiency while ensuring long-term reliability. Russia is also accelerating the localization of its production lines, 
but maintaining consistent quality in mass production remains a difficult task. In terms of global competitors, the PD-8 can be compared to the General Electric CF-34, Rolls-Royce BR-700, and Pratt and & Whitney PW-1000G. When comparing with the General Electric CF-34, PD-8 and the CF-34 are both small jet engines designed for regional aircraft, but they serve different purposes. The CF-34 has been a proven engine for decades, powering aircraft like the Bombardier CRJ and Embraer E-Jet. In contrast, the PD-8 is a new Russian development designed to replace the foreign engine on the Sukhoi SJ-100 and provide a domestic alternative for the B-200. In terms of performance, the PD-8 has a standard thrust of 73.3 kN and can reach a maximum of 79 kN in emergency mode. Meanwhile, the CF-34 series has multiple variants with thrust ranging from 85.6 kN on the CF-34-8C to 93 kN on the CF-34-10E. This means the CF-34 is slightly more powerful than the Russian engine, especially in its upgraded versions. However, the difference is not too significant when considering factors like fuel efficiency and overall engine weight. Regarding the popularity, the GE CF-34 still holds major advantages, particularly in its well-established reliability. With thousands of engines in operation worldwide, it benefits from a vast maintenance network and easy repairability. This is a significant advantage that Russia will need time to catch up with, especially as it enters commercial service. In conclusion, while the PD-8 has not yet surpassed the CF-34 in reputation and widespread adoption, it is not far behind. If it can prove its reliability, fuel efficiency, and optimized maintenance system, it could become a viable alternative for markets that do not rely on Western technology. Given Russia's limited access to Western technology, this engine plays a crucial role in ensuring the independence of the country's civil aviation industry. Do you think the PD-8 is capable of competing with the West or at least meeting domestic demand? Please share your thoughts with us. As always, thanks for watching. Have a safe and enjoyable flight.